I thought that uh, we played extremely well for three quarters. Uh, we were executing, getting what we wanted. We did a decent job defensively. Uh, you know, we struggled on the glass all game, but uh, we held our turnovers down. And I thought in the fourth quarter we we got to uh, stagnation, isolation, and uh, we turned the ball over, and uh, they were able to capitalize. And uh, in the, in the end, when it 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 was still in the balance, they started uh, scoring, and we weren't scoring. Miles, team shoots averages for the season like 39 percent from three, second in the league. You hold them to 25 percent. Did you see? anything different that they were able to do or did later in the game to kind of counterbalance that? Well, you know, that sounds nice. It's a misnomer. Only thing you can do is keep the ball out of the paint and close out to guys. If they're getting wide open threes, they either make them or miss them. They, they put up 28 threes, and uh, they only made seven of them. There was, uh, you know, maybe four or five that were con uncontested through the course of the game, and then later on they started getting uncontested threes, and they made them. Um, you know, I thought their bigs did a job. Uh, their bench, period, but their two bi uh, uh, bigs, uh, Lavoy Allen and uh, uh, Jordan Hill off the bench, did a nice job for them. And, uh, you know, I thought Stuckey and Buttinger did a nice job as well off the bench. So, uh, you know, we could talk about threes all you want. It, it's about executing offensively and executing defensively. Yeah, you mentioned the bench scoring there. How hard is it to prepare? We, we we have Paul George to prepare for and stuff like that. How hard is it to prepare for the bench unit to score 25? Well, you know, we know who they are. It's not that it's hard to prepare for them. I mean, you know, we have a, a game plan for the whole team. It's not just the game plan for Paul George or whomever. I thought, you know, you know, Monte Ellis didn't have a night uh, tonight. Uh, George Hill didn't have a great night tonight. But, you know, they got uh, addition uh, from the guys off the bench, especially Jordan Hill with the rebounding. And he and LaVoy Howland hit some big shots at crucial times. And that's all you need. Coach, what have you seen in these eight road losses that's been that you need to correct? Or what, what's the common denominator, I guess? We haven't scored enough points. I mean, it's, I mean, is it free throws? Is it, uh, we went 17 for 17 tonight. We just got beat. Turnovers. We got beat by a good team. We only had 12 turnovers. So come on, you know, the the, the reality is is that we played well to a point, and then we got stagnant, and we started turning the ball over at crucial times. Then we couldn't get stops. I just explained that. First three quarters. Do you feel like w w how much of the the pace was was the focus tonight in terms of having them pay it, play at your pace as opposed to trying to play at theirs? Well, we're actually trying to play a, at a quicker pace in our half court offense and get more movement, and we did that. We don't want to run up and down the court and take quick shots, uh, and we don't want them to be able to do that. But you know, there was a few times they got the ball out after we scored and raced it up the court and scored. So, uh, for the most part, we held them, but they still got their average of 104 points a game in in the end. And it was mainly because of the, the fourth quarter. The foul trouble factor in in terms of uh, in the fourth quarter, you guys got to the bonus pretty quickly, and, and Brooke picked up his fifth. How much did that kind of stop your momentum? Do you think? Uh, well, we were already stagnant before Brooke got in foul trouble and before they got in a penalty. So no, nothing.